Yes, and welcome back. Certainly hope you're having a good, good day thus far. So we're going to start things off in a really nice way in terms of uh, culture and giving back. Uh, and this young lady with me, she has been, wow, she's been dancing since she was about seven years old, she told me. And that's just super. I, I met her and straight off the bat, I, I, one other young lady came to mind because I know that dance has been her dream. I know dance has been Shola's dream for a long time. And she just followed, she followed that dream. And I could hardly wait to hear her story. And I'm sure you want to hear her story as well. But essentially, she's here to, uh, to do some workshops uh, with a lot of young women who love dance on island and she is connected with the Conception Dance Theatre and of course she's here with me this morning to tell me a little bit about her journey through dance and also uh, the workshops coming up starting from tomorrow. Welcome to you Shola! <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you to as meet well. You. How long were you on island? Um, I'm here, I got here on Saturday. Right, so and then I about a week. Yes, I returned back on Saturday as well. well. I think you had a fantastic weekend. Amazing. Tell me what you did. <laughs> did you fly kite? Well, all I that arrived. good stuff? <laughs> yes, I arrived. Um, my mom picked me up from the airport. Mm -hmm. um, a cousin of mine came and got me. We went to hang out in some area I don't even know. <laughs> and then eventually we went to Bananas and, hey. and jammed the night yeah. away. That's <laughs> yeah, up a storm. Exactly. That you love doing. So you, I know you were born in the U.S. Yes. But your parents are, are from Grenada. Grenada. Grenadian. Yes. Which I'm part Christian. of Grenada? Um, St. David's. St. David's. Yes, be in St. David's. Nice, yes. nice. So, and my siblings are from Grenada as right. well. So I'm first generation American. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So you're the baby. I'm the oldest girl. You're the oldest girl. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> Not the baby. Not the baby. Not Middle the baby. child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's so nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about your journey with dance, I'm sure. Because you said, you know, since you're a little girl, you mm -hmm. loved dancing. Tell me about that journey. I will. Um, so my mom put me in at the age of seven. And it was something that she was extremely passionate about. Mm -hmm. And because she didn't have the opportunity to participate in the arts and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. she was like, my children are going to do that. Mm -hmm. So I started at seven. And from then on, it became something that was essential in my life I had to do it like if my mom wanted to punish me <laughs> she would tell me no you're not going to dance no, class exactly mm -hmm. and followed up with it through high school eventually I went to Howard University and Excellent. studied there Excellent. and it became a career career choice for me Fantastic. you know and it's something that I can't live without yeah you know? now I'm gonna ask you the same question that I think I asked another dancer who stopped by on the program can't remember who it was but in terms of the arts you know because mm -hmm. a lot of people see you know getting involved in arts is not really career mm -hmm. how you gonna pay your bills mm -hmm. how you gonna so, lighten us and let us know so I'll, I'll be what dance has been doing for you it's it's it doesn't get the recognition that it should yeah but when you're true and it's something that you're passionate about, you'll make you'll make it happen. Yeah. You know, I know that was something my mom was totally concerned about. Yeah, yeah. How are you going to pay your rent? How are you going to eat? I don't like to see you going through this. Yeah. But when you're strong and you're true to what it is that you believe in, you'll make it happen. Absolutely. You know, and other people would recognize that and it'll just happen. Yeah. So I make it happen. You Good know, job. I teach, I perform, Good. you know, I inspire, I dance. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, now I know who it was I was chatting with, a gentleman by the name of uh, Jeffrey. Oh, I forgot his name. Marlon, can you remember his name? Campbell. He was here. Jeffrey Campbell. I think, I'm not sure. He is part of the ballet, one of the ballet uh, theater, theater companies in the States. Could you remember his name? Yeah, but he is incredible. Okay. I'll connect you with uh, yes, him. Yes, definitely. I'll connect you with him. He's amazing. <laughs> and and tell me a little bit about in terms of um I know you're currently with the Crunch yes, company. I am with the Crunch Crunch Gym. Crunch Gym. So I initially started teaching as a dance instructor and I have my classes amazing. I yeah. teach West African dance class nice. along with other body conditioning classes. Nice. Um and I'm usually their PR mm -hmm. individual. So anytime we have to be represented by the news or make appearances on TV shows, I'm usually, you know, the girl that yeah. goes in and, you know, set forth and do, do the action. I could just imagine. Now, you just mentioned West African. Mm -hmm. Tell me some of, you know, I know music you call it genres and guess what dance you call it style. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about what you're involved. You, you do hip hop as well. I do hip hop as well. So 
under my two under my guidance at Howard University, we were mandated to take ballet, West African, mm -hmm. modern, mm -hmm. jazz, hip hop. So my techniques are not limited to those, right. but we were exposed to a vast yeah. amount of um, techniques. Um, right now, I work with a professional dance company called Caltef West African Dance Company, right. and my artistic director, she studied in Guinea, Ivory Coast, Senegal. So you, we learn the different mm -hmm. dances that are indigenous to those areas. Right. So it's, it's, just, it's just a wealth of information. And that's fantastic. That's <laughs> fantastic. How long have you been with Crunch? I've been with Crunch since 2011. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've been, I started off, like I said, teaching dance and eventually moved into the conditioning classes. I teach spin. So if you want to get a good workout and you're in the New York City area, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that, you know? Nice. So, yeah, my background is not limited to dance, right. even though dance is my passion. Yeah. I'm also into the fitness. Um, you do Zumba? No, I don't do Zumba. No Zumba. <laughs> I don't do Zumba. I'm shocked. But you take my African <laughs> dance class and you'll work out the same way. You'll work I out know, sweating. I know. You'll I be, know. you drop 10 pounds. Kid you not. Okay, I need to come join your class. I need to work on that. Get that ticket first, and then I come visit you. Because I, I got some ten pounds. I, I got about ten pounds to drop. Okay. So. You look amazing, by the way. Well, thank you very much. I try. I try. <laughs> and I know you're just being <laughs> so. Right. So, uh, this is really interesting because I. There's another young woman that I did mention that you remind me of, and that's Rachel Phillips. Mm -hmm. um, and Rachel has been doing woo, amazing, amazing stuff. And I, I understand you both connected. Tell me how you met, because it's quite an interesting yes. story. So, a friend of mine paired me up with this young lady named LaShawn Prescott, who's mm -hmm. doing amazing work in New York and in Trinidad. She has her own company called N L N Y T T. So I went to go take her soca dance class. And I remember individuals always saying, oh, you're from Grenada. You need to meet Onika. Well, I'm assuming everyone knows her as Rachel. Yes. Everyone's like, you have to meet her. You have to meet her. She's from Grenada as well. We finally met when we went to go take class together. Mm. And her energy, she had her Grenadian flag. Oh, yes. And I had mine. <laughs> and from then, it was just, you know, yeah, yeah. A, an amazing connection. Yeah. Would you, do you see yourself, I mean, and maybe I should rephrase this question a little, but have you ever performed with, let's say, an artist, whether it's hip hop, whatever I genre? have. Um, I actually do. So, like I said, I, well, I didn't say this, but mm -hmm. I'm a freelance <laughs> dance artist. So, right. my background is not limited to just one company, right. just not one, co you know, I'm working all over. I actually do backup for a famous pop artist named Mike Lyric, and he's famous nice. in the United States of Emirates. So Dubai and all of those places, ah. they love him. He has songs on iTunes. So I've done backup for him. Fantastic. And we've opened up for Ashanti. Nice. Um, I've done industrials with Neo, the Great. pop artist. Yeah. So, you know, it's just about being in the right time at the right place. I was just about to say that, you know, you know and you got to strike when the iron's hot, mm -hmm. girl. Just, just, <laughs> just take it. Just right. take it. What would you say dancing has done for Shola? Oh, my gosh. In, what, in a sentence, a phrase. <laughs> it's given me life. Yeah. Yeah. If you weren't dancing, what would you have been doing? That's not even a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a question. No, that right there <laughs> is a love. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I don't doing anything else. Yeah, yeah. And now you've connected with Cecilia Griffith with the uh, Conception Theatre. Yes, I have. Yeah. Have you you got the opportunity to meet any of the dancers as yet? I haven't yet. So you're gonna get to meet I them will tomorrow? tomorrow? Great. Um and I know it's with the St. Joseph Convent right. dancers. Yes. And some of the Conception Conception dance dancers. students. Yeah. So I'm excited. I hope they're as excited as I am. I think they're going to be. Because I'm always, and this is what allowed me to continue just meeting different artists and just seeing their inspira inspiration and their passion for the art. Mm -hmm. That pushed me and motivated me That's to fantastic. keep going. So what's going to happen at the workshops? So the, tomorrow, um, they'll be introduced. I'm not sure if they've ever taken the dance technique Dunham. So um, Miss Catherine Dunham, she's a well-known choreographer, anthropologist, um, activist, mm -hmm. um, and she created her own technique by fusing Afro-Caribbean techniques mm -hmm. and European techniques and wow. put them together. Wow. So you'll see um, elements of Yanvalu, which mm -hmm. is a dance taken out of Haiti, mm -hmm. and it represents the serpent. Ooh. There's Igbo, there's modern, there's ballet. 
So they'll be introduced to that nice. inside of um, the workshop. Um, oh, exciting tomorrow. stuff. Yes. Exciting stuff. And then Friday is just hip hop. So it's just Ooh. my, <laughs> you know, what you see on the video. Yeah, you, yeah. When you would go to an audition. Inside of Crunch, I work with the Brooklyn Nets dancers. Oh, nice. Yes. So Brooklyn just got a new basketball team, and the dancers actually come to Crunch, and we teach a class to the community. Good. So, you know, just seeing combinations or movements that you would normally see at auditions. Fantastic. Um, Fantastic. And, yes. and I know part of, of, of this workshop, was this, was this planned prior or a spur of the moment thing? So this is something that being from Grenada, mm -hmm. I say that I'm Grenadian. Yeah, I have dual yeah, citizenship. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, I never felt in touch with the arts community. Out. Right. My cousin, Keith, He's a well, yes. He's we a, had to mention that too, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Keith. Everybody knows Keith yeah, Williams. He's a well-known dancer, yeah. but I feel like I never really had the opportunity to attend a dance class or just meet artists inside mm -hmm. of Grenada. And I don't know how big or how large the arts community is, but I'm like, this is something that I say I love to do. I should have some kind of dealing, or you know, I be agree. in the mix. I agree. So, um, I one night I hit up my sister and I was like. Give me your dance teacher's information. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach a class. <laughs> Good. Uh, so, Good. you know, it was, I sent her an email and she was open to the idea. Yeah. And I thank her for that. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, if folks want to see some of your work, unfortunately, we, we, didn't, we, did, we didn't get to share today, but uh, your, you got any videos online that we yes, can Yes. Um, so find? I do have a YouTube page mm -hmm. and Instagram. I usually post videos and I'm working on my website. So Great. they can definitely, Good. you know, Good. follow me on Instagram. Good. H O L A B E A R Shola Bear. Bear. And youtube.com slash Shola Rock. Good. Wish I knew that before you <laughs> came through here so we could share some of your incredible moves um, with our viewers. But hopefully, we'll get to do that during our next program. Is there anything you'd like to add in terms of your career, in terms of dance, uh, the arts, Grenada, anything at all before we wrap up? Just if you want something, go after it. Yeah. And push yourself absolutely. beyond measures absolutely yes <laughs> absolutely so what's in store for you for today i'm Hanging going on? to the beach good girl <laughs> good place to be so nice yes, to meet thank you, you for having look me. out for me i'm going to connect with you via Hi. instagram for thank sure you. you're thank welcome you. and all the best with the workshop yes. special good morning again to cecilia and her entire crew have a ball of a time and it's going to be a super one